Here is the 2016 Tesla Model X. I am going to do just a quick circle around the vehicle and then I'm going to point out to you any little imperfection that I can find on it. There are very, very few, especially for the age of the car. Uh, overall, the car is extremely nice, as you can see. as you can see across the front nose of the car it's not all pecked up with rock pecks or chips and that is probably mostly because the car was fully wrapped uh, I'm not sure at what point it got wrapped I can see a few little spots that appear to have been touched up I don't know if you'll see it I'm gonna use this pen here to put it into perspective uh, again the spots about the tip of a ballpoint pen there's a few of these spots where you can see where it's been touched up um, looking at the hood, I don't see any rock pecks on it at all. Now we'll take a look at tires and wheels. Uh, driver's side front wheel, uh, no curb, uh, curb rash or marks on it. The tires look like they were just recently replaced. They look brand new. Uh, we'll just go ahead and go down the side of the car. No dings or scratches on the driver's side. On the driver's side rear wheel. Uh, no issues on the wheels, no curb, uh, curb rash there. Again, tires are, appear to be brand new. Over to the passenger side, uh, passenger rear wheel, no curb rash. Uh, looking down the side of the passenger side of the vehicle, no, uh, no dings or scratches. Uh, front passenger side wheel, no curb rash on it either. The only imperfections I can really find on this car are you got a small spot on the rear down here on the black trim. Uh, looks like either somebody rolled into it or somebody backed into something uh, just here. And you can see I'm using a ballpoint pen to put it into perspective. You got those spots here. And then there is also a small spot right here. This is one I mentioned to you last night. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it on the video, but it goes from right here to about right there. And it's, it's, it's it, the height on it is from here to here. Uh, it's very small and if the light hits it just right, you see it. Uh, if it doesn't, you don't really even see it. And you may not ever even noticed it if I hadn't pointed it out. Uh, that is the only imperfection uh, imperfections on the car I can find on the exterior. Quick look at the interior of the car. All the leather is really nice. Uh, I've got no, no significant bolster wear uh, on the driver's seat. Uh, sorry, the lighting's not great with the sun out, but uh, there's no bolster wear on the driver's seat. On the passenger seat, it's uh, extremely nice as well. Uh, center console and the armrest are all real nice. Uh, there you can see the range uh, that we were talking about earlier at uh, the percent it was at. On the rear, uh, as I mentioned to you last night, uh, the only thing I really found on the interior that we're, and we're getting it taken care of are uh, the front plate of the cup holder. Uh, looks like it got knocked off, so it's not latching into place. Uh, that I am getting taken care of. Uh, but as far as the, uh, the seats are in really nice condition, uh, no issues at all in the uh, middle row. Get the seat to fold forward here and take a quick look at the rear seats. Uh, honestly, I don't know if anybody's even really spent much time back here in this car. Uh, as you can see a second ago that the uh, Falcon door on the driver's side opens properly. Uh, go ahead and show you the passenger side opening uh, as well.